Hey, welcome back to the podcast. So this is the audio from my most recent essential oil wellness class, and the topic was health room by room. So I'm actually teaching you in this episode how to set up little health stations around your home to support you in living this healthy essential oil lifestyle. You will especially appreciate this one if you are brand new to oils and you feel overwhelmed. I'm going to teach you some of my best tips and tricks. And at the very end, I'm actually taking you on a video tour of my home to show you the various stations I have set up. So if you want to catch this episode as a video, you can hop over to YouTube. It'll be the latest recording um, on the Whole Fit platform there. Welcome to Whole Fit Talks. This is a show just for you, someone who's taking ownership of their health, leading their life and living their legacy. And I'm glad we found each other because I am another you. Thanks for being here. And now on to this week's episode. So as you guys are hopping in, I will just let you know how my classes work. So if you are over on the Facebook brand page, Whole Fit, then you will see me right now and I'm going to share a slide deck with you. So it is more of an interactive experience if you're over on Facebook, but I am also dual streaming over to Instagram. What's up guys? Uh, just because I know so many of you like to hang out that way. So we are approaching about a hundred over on Instagram. Same over on Facebook. So come on in and get cozy. Um, what do I want to tell you about today's class? It's going to be a fun one. It's a topic that I've been thinking about doing for a while now. Just for those of you, uh, I mean, you're going to especially love this today if you are an essential oiler and you have some oils in your home and you want to think about that next level. Uh, you could think of today as an integration class, a 201 class. Uh, the topic is health room by room. So I'm going to pop over in just a moment and begin our slides. If you are on Instagram, say hey, you guys. And you know, you could, if you have another device perhaps nearby, you could dual stream over on Facebook to catch the slides. Um, or you can just hang out here. Uh, oh, what I wanted to tell you was I will be doing um, at the end of this, we're going to go for under an hour right now. And then I'm going to pop onto my phone into a separate Instagram live stream uh, to take you on a quick, like 15, 20 minute house tour of a few of the rooms that I'm going to talk about today, just to show you my personal setup and probably elaborate on a few of the things that, that I go through with you. Okay. So on that note, Hey guys, nice to have you in. Okay. Let me, let me just scroll over and I'm going to start our slides for today. Um, if you have your class notes package, um, you can grab that. I'll tell you about where to find that if you're new here. Okay, let me show this in stream. I'm gonna minimize myself. All right, now I do unfortunately have to keep myself in the slideshow, otherwise we lose audio. So if I am blocking a little bit of the content, um, sorry, <laughs> we'll just have to keep rolling that way. All right, so welcome to Health Room by Room. This will be recorded. Okay, and I will show, uh, you'll, you'll find it on YouTube if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I'll also uplo upload the audio to uh, the podcast if you subscribe that way. I know a lot of you like to learn on the, on the go, right? So the audio will be there for you. In this class today, I'm going to go through a five-minute overview of doTERRA oils. I'm going to go through tips and tools for integration. I'm going to give you some of my best tips for really launching into this essential oil lifestyle. And then we're gonna go through four different rooms of the, of the home and, and things you wanna be thinking about, oils and products to really support you. Uh, really the goal being that you don't have to look too far for the tools that you need when you need them, right? And then as I said, at the end, we're gonna go through a quick home tour. Now, if you wanna know when I have classes coming up, you can go to the Whole Fit calendar. You can see the link up there on the screen. It's bit.ly forward slash all in capital letters, Whole Fit, and then lower case letters, C-A-L. That's a Google calendar you can find uh, whenever I post a new class to the schedule, you'll find it there. So if you wanna, you could even embed that into your own Google calendar if you use that. Um, you can also go to the Whole Fit classroom 
And that's where you'll find all of the previous recordings of classes like what I'm doing today, okay? Now, over on that classroom link, so that's wholefit.com forward slash classroom, that's where you're also going to be able to grab your notes package. So I know a lot of you have this. We have a couple thousand of you as part of this email segment where you receive this right away when you subscribe, but then whenever I have a class coming up, you'll get a little email note from me a few days prior, um, and I'll also include an attachment to the notes package. So once you have subscribed to this list, you're good to go. Like you'll receive a note from me a couple days before class with the notes, okay? Um, and, and that notes package, you guys, is, is basically templates, uh, a space for you to map out your day by design, your week by design, a couple of pages for you to take notes and write down any class recipes I go through. It's just, uh, it's just a nice little package for, for the class. So, and for those of you that have questions, I won't be paying attention to the chat as I teach. So if you wanna save your question to the very end, I'm gonna do some quick Q&A before I go into the uh, home tour. So save your questions. I might answer it as I go anyway. Um, but when you, when you do go to post your question at the end, please put a big capital Q in front of it just so I can see it in the, in the midst of the comments, okay? All right, so if you're new to these classes, I always like to kick off talking about why doTERRA because I think you know we're at that point now where a lot of people have heard of essential oils. When I first started teaching about doTERRA years ago, or like seven years ago, essential oils weren't um, a household known thing, right? It was, it was kind of one of those things maybe people have heard of, but they had no idea what they really were. Um, whereas now, today, most people have heard of essential oils. And so I think this conversation I'm just going to go over in the next few minutes is really important because you want to understand what you're actually using so that you can really put it to work for you. So I wanna share three cool things about doTERRA and three ways to use doTERRA. And I wanna open up with a quote by Rudolf Steiner. Uh, for those of you that don't know who he is, he was the founder of Biodynamic Farming, but also the creator of Waldorf Education, which my, my girls go to a Waldorf school. And he said, I believe that there is a healing potential locked inside plants, which is integral with their evolution just as it is a part of human evolution to learn to tap this wonderful gift of nature. So I think, especially in the timing of this recording, we're realizing that there is this invitation right now to come into greater alignment, into wholeness, to, to look at the way we operated before and ask, is that truly working anymore? And so there's a lot of interest right now in natural ways of supporting ourselves and to be really ready for anything. This is why a lot of people are uh, looking at doTERRA right now. So three cool things that set doTERRA apart. They are 100% natural and safe. No side effects, no addictions, although I could probably challenge that. It is quite addicting once you get into it, right? Uh, extracts basically from the plant and nothing else. And this is, this is a really important thing to understand. There, there's so many essential oil companies popping up everywhere, right? You see them at the health food store, you see them at the mall, you see them at the gas station, you see them at the dollar store, they're everywhere, right? And so you have to really know what you're using because those bottles, you guys, can be labeled with whatever they want. That's a little trick of the industry. Very much the same in the self-care industry. Anything can really go on that label. So you wanna really know what you're, what you're using. Now, essential oils are super cool as well because they are at least 50 times stronger than the herb uh, form of the plant, okay? Now, if you take something like peppermint, a lot of you have tried peppermint before. Maybe you've tried a different brand and then you, you try doTERRA's peppermint and you understand the difference in quality, right? That's a really experiential oil that can be used all three ways and that's I, I would love to, you know, in the comments, let us know what was that oil for you when you first started using doTERRA? We were like, oh, this is what essential oils are supposed to, you know, do, and this is what they should uh, feel like and smell like. Like there was a real difference for you. The second thing that makes doTERRA oils cool is they're very effective, very effective. They work almost instantly. In, in many situations where it, it's very experiential, which makes, again, going back to that point about it being somewhat addicting, you are able to move throughout your day uh, just feeling very in control. You feel very supported. You feel very empowered because you, you have 
tools that you can reach for when you need them, right? And that's a really empowering feeling. So they work very quickly. They permeate the cell membrane. And, you know, based on whatever outcome you're looking for, you can use them a variety of ways. And I'll get into that in a moment. But um, they eventually work their way into your body to bring your body back to a state of balance or homeostasis. That is the desired state the body wants to be in. And it, it doesn't compete with the body in doing that, which uh, many modern medications today will do, right? They will create side effects in your body um, because they're actually competing against that goal of coming back into balance. So the body's fighting to maintain that state. The third cool thing is they're affordable. Most essential oils are pennies per, per drop, really. So, uh, and because doTERRA oils are completely pure, nothing else, that bottle, you know, if you have a 15 ml bottle in front of you right now, you're gonna get at least 200 uses out of that bottle. Um, so that, that just makes them something that, uh, and you know, in today's class, I'm gonna teach you various oils to have in different rooms of your house. So you, one of the tips I'm gonna share with you is you take that 15 ml bottle and you portion it into other smaller bottles so you can now have it in various rooms of your home until you are perhaps at a point where you can invest in having that same bottle of peppermint, for example, in a couple of places in the larger size. So share with us, you guys, put it in the comments. What was that first powerful experience you had with doTERRA oils? This is a really cool way for other people to learn. Um, and, you know, I just wanna share the main reason I continue to do these classes and love teaching about this powerful form of healthcare is because I have so many of my own powerful experiences every day, every single day. There's not a day, honestly, that goes by where um, an, an essential oil doesn't impress me, truly, where I just have such a deep respect and, and reverence for nature because of that it, that through line to nature that you have in your home when you use the oils. And I know this may sound woo woo, but you guys, those of you that use the oils, you understand what I'm saying, right? It's, it's like this conduit to just coming back to wholeness. And it's very, it's very exciting um, for people, especially when they use the oils for the first time. So yeah, share with us. I love, I love reading what that experience was for you. So three quick ways I wanna go over of how you use doTERRA. Now this is specific to doTERRA. If you're using another brand, um, you're gonna to wanna to do your research, make sure what you're using is pure plant because if it's not, I would caution you against using it at all, but you certainly don't want to be using it all of these three ways that I'm gonna share with you. So the first way is aromatic. This is going to be the most common way you'll use oils um, in a diffuser, right? I'm not sure. So Instagram can see my diffuser behind me there. I now today have a diffuser in every room of our home. Um, but obviously I didn't when I first started, we just had the one. Uh, so if you don't have a diffuser, you can experience essential oils aromatically just by putting a drop in your hand, rubbing them together and breathing in. It's a great way to experience them. They work very quickly. Um, and that's going to help affect your mood. It's going to cleanse the air. It's going to support your respiratory system. Real popular oil this way is wild orange and peppermint. Great combination. The second way to use doTERRA oils is topical. So you would go this route if you're looking to address something in a localized area. So something, for example, on your skin in a specific area, um, or let's say you have some head tension, right? Rather than just breathing in the oil aromatically, it makes sense in that case to apply it topically to that area to get the localized benefits. Now, when you're, especially when you're first starting out with doTERRA, because they're so potent, you want to make sure that you're diluting your essential oils in something like uh, fractionated coconut oil. That is going to make them last longer. Uh, it's also going to make it a safer experience for you. So you're not, you know, if you apply a couple of drops of peppermint straight to the skin, it's very cooling. It's almost too stimulating. So um, very smart to do it. Now, in the time of this recording, you guys, we are heading into summer. So uh, I just want to mention when it comes to topical use, you want to make sure that you're not applying citrus oils like lemon to your skin. Uh, the reason is citrus oils will make you more sun sensitive. So you will notice if you even apply um, a couple of drops to your neck, let's say, of a citrus oil and you go out in the sun, you will have sunburn 
in that exact area where you applied it. So stay away from citrus oils in the summer on your skin, but you can still use them in this third way I'm gonna go over, which is internal, and this is super specific to doTERRA. That's, um, I don't need to say super specific, I guess <laughs> enough said by saying specific. Uh, so internal use is going to be the quickest route of delivery into the body. So you would do this to cleanse your body. You would do this for systemic issues, right? Digestive, immune, um, even in situations like pain, you can really help manage it that way. So you can take essential oils in water. I just mentioned citrus oils. You can use them brilliantly by adding them to your big uh, stainless steel or glass water bottle. I do that with every one of these swell bottles that I fill up, I will add two drops of lemon or two drops of grapefruit or um, green mandarin I love as well. So uh, that's, a, that's a really easy way, route for internal. Um, you can also add them to veggie caps. Pre-made. You can make your own little essential oil pills, if you will, um, which is gonna help just protect the throat, right? Especially if you're taking something a little hotter like oregano or clove, you wanna put it in a capsule. So a few other points I just wanna make before we move on from this topic. Uh, again, doTERRA is going to be the premier, the, the Cadillac of essential oils. So you may be using other brands coming into this conversation. You, you wanna know that you can trust what's in those bottles. Now a key way that doTERRA offers this transparency to you is you can actually go over to sourcedyou.com on the bottom of your essential oil bottle, you'll find a code, you can scan that, and you can not only see where in the world it was grown, but you can also see the latest quality testing on it. Now, every doTERRA bottle goes through 54 different tests for quality. And this is done both in-house and through the third-party lab, Aromatic Plant Research Center, APRC. So you can, you can look up that company if you'd like. They're a third-party lab that does uh, the majority of doTERRA's testing in addition to the in-house testing that they do. So what makes doTERRA really appealing is they empower not only us here as we use the oils, but they empower those that have grown the oils. doTERRA doesn't move in and um, buy up farms and take that business away from the farmers and families that have had it for decades. Um, they work with them to create a situation where they their output is greater, where they can um, meet the demand and keep that business in their communities, in their families. So it, doTERRA really empowers on both sides of the bottle, which is a powerful statement to understand. Why do doTERRA oils work? Uh, chemistry. So if what you're working with in a bottle is 100% pure plant, you can now get to work on whatever you're looking to do. So this is, if you wanna get into this education, um, you can see up on the screen, I've linked for you the, um, the chemistry wheels so you can understand the constituents that are in um, essential oils. You could also Google doTERRA's chemistry handbook and go through and understand you know, why certain oils work on certain things, okay? So let's get into today's topic. I'm gonna start off by sharing some tips and tools for integration. So I wanna share with you um, a shop I've put together of key tools, especially when I get to the, the home tour, you guys will notice a lot of tools, right? Because this is a supportive lifestyle that we live for our healthcare. So I'll, I'll link up for you a shop that I created which has everything um, that I use and love. And I'll talk about recipes that are available for you. I'll go into some diffusing tips, um, other tips like how to reuse your empties. And then I have some promo codes for you. So from some of my favorite small business owners, uh, that, that have beautiful creations. So stick with me for the next couple minutes for sure. Um, so the shop, you guys, if you, it's, it's basically an Amazon shop of tools like amber glass bottles in all sizes, spray tops, droppers. You're going to see this on the slide, um, in the next few images when I talk about reusing your empties. Uh, so you can go over to wholefit.com forward slash EO tools shop. There you'll find everything I'll be referencing. I actually built out this shop for the launch of the Supernatural Recipe Guide, which is going to be your go-to for DIY. Uh, this is a guide I launched a couple of months ago and it's in the Whole Fit shop. 
Um, I'll, I'll have Jill, my assistant, pop the link for the Supernatural Guide there for you guys. Uh, it is the just most comprehensive DIY guide. So as I'm, you know, showing you around our home later and and, and talking about various concoctions, uh, they're all in this ebook for you. Okay. So when getting started, so this is especially for those of you who are you just got your first little kit of oils. I just want to go over a few tips in in starting. So the main topic of today's class is having your oils where you'll see them. So having stations around your home so that you remember to use them because that's going to be really the, the, the hurdle for you when you're getting started is uh, you'll forget. You'll forget that you have these powerful healing tools in your home and you'll go to reach for that whatever it is that you, you've always used for X, Y, Z issue, okay? So having stations set up in your home is really smart. You also wanna think about when you're on the go uh, you know, having some sort of travel case in your purse or, you know, in your gym bag or in your car so that you're never really without the tools that you need to feel incredible. So start small in this area. What I'm going through with you today, I'll, again, I'll take you through some various rooms and, we, and things to think of in those rooms. Um, but maybe you just pick one, right? Think about, I want you to think as I'm going, what's, what's most on your heart right now? What's that one issue you want to hit first and, and just focus on that so you don't feel overwhelmed. Um, being, and I mean, being consistent with your oils, you guys, so having them where you are most of the time is important because your oils are only going to work if you put them to work and, and you need to use them consistently in order to really move the needle, especially if you're working on a certain health goal or protocol. A lot of you, you didn't just come into doTERRA because you wanted to make your health smell beautiful. You came in because you have something you're looking to see results in. So in order to see results in it, you wanna be consistently using essential oils or following whatever protocol you are for at least 10 days. You wanna have them with you. And then portioning out is a tip I wanna emphasize as I'm talking. When you get your kit of oils, Let's say you start with, um, all the kits just change names, so I can't think of the names, but let's say you start off with the top 10 oils and they're in 15 ml size. What you might wanna do, because if you're just starting out and you don't have any empty bottles yet, right? As you go, you guys, always save your empty bottles because you will put them, you'll recycle them, you'll reuse them, okay? Especially in this purpose. But when you're first starting and you don't have empties, you can actually purchase, you can go over on Amazon, you can buy empty amber glass bottles. And then you could take your, your 15 ml and split it between uh, three bottles. So then you could have that same oil in several rooms of your house. That's a really good tip because if you just have your bottles in your kitchen and you're upstairs or we're in your car driving and you know let's say you get a bit of some tension and you want to use your peppermint um you won't use it because you won't have it with you so it's a real simple tip so let's start off with some diffusing tips because this is going to be the main way um, when you're first getting into this lifestyle main way that you use essential oils. So I, I have some tips for you. I've shared these on Insta stories many times. You've seen my setup, um, Instagram. You can see right behind me. You can see my diffuser. You can see some oils. You can see a pitcher of water, which is tip number one. Keep a big glass bottle or pitcher of water near your diffuser for easy filling. That trust me that I remember when I first started doing this, I'm like, oh, because I remember one day I was going around the house watering my plants and I'm like, I should just water my diffusers when I'm doing that. Right. Makes sense. And then I, and then, you know, that next idea came I'm like, why don't I just keep a pitcher of water near each diffuser and just fill that up every once in a while. So um, that's a tip for you there. When you have diffusers, you want to be cleaning them once a week. Honestly, I don't go to much work with this. All I do is put a couple of pumps of on guard foaming wash into the diffuser. I'll add some, some water, let it sit for five minutes, and then I flush it and it's clean. I don't get into vinegar scrubbing with Q-tips or any of that stuff. Again, if it becomes too involved, you're not gonna do it, right? So you do wanna clean your diffusers though. Some essential oils like vetiver or patchouli, which have 
a deep bass note to them, they will linger in your diffuser. So it's not, you can't just start switching out different oils. Usually you can though. It's just some, some oils will give you a harder time that way. Um, if there is a blend you're often putting in your diffuser, such as, um, let's just keep it simple, wild orange and peppermint. Since that's not a blend that doTERRA has, what you can do is just make your own custom bottle. So I'll show you that as I go throughout the house because I have some custom blends next to the diffuser. Uh, and all you need to do is, is just, like let's say where you, you were doing peppermint and wild orange and usually you would use equal drops of, of both oils. Just fill your bottle with 50% peppermint, 50% wild orange, put stickers on it so you know what that blend is. And then you can put a dropper top on it if you want, which again, I've linked in that Amazon shop, because then you can just easily grab drops or you could put the orifice back on and, and drip it out the normal way. But what I do suggest is you put stickers on, especially if you're doing ratios. So if you're working with maybe four or five different oils to create a blend, um, then you'll want to put the stickers on and what the ratios were so you can refill easy next time. If you guys want to see all of my favorite blends, um, and again, you, you're going to want to take notes as I go because I'm going to share links with you. Uh, and if you're really into diffusing, then here's your here's a link you'll want to write down, wholefit.com forward slash diffuser guide. There I have for you tons of beautiful blends you can try. Basically, over the years, whenever I've um, wanted to create something, wanted to create a certain feeling in our home, uh, I would go to my big collection of oils and I would think, okay, I want some citrus, I want some wood, I want some mint, you know, because I... Over the years, you know, you, you get to understand what, what each oil lends to a blend. So I have basically journaled this whole time and I put all those blends there for you. Everything I'm sharing with you guys um, is free unless it's a shop item like the Supernatural Guide, okay? So there's a, if you want to take a, a screenshot over on Facebook, this is a page out of the Supernatural Guide where I share some top custom blends to consider. I'll just leave that up for another few seconds so you can grab a screenshot if you'd like. Um, my head's not cutting it off either, so that's good. Uh, but you know, I'll just share the go-to blend at our house, the one that I have little bottles custom made um, and often I'm diffusing is uh, four drops grapefruit, three drops frankincense, and two drops clary sage. I've seen a lot of you reshare that blend over the years. Uh, I have it post to the Facebook wall every once in a while. Um, it's a real good one. So I'm going to move on from there. I hope you got a screenshot. So when it comes to reusing your bottles, cleaning your empties, it's really easy to do. So please don't ever throw out or, or recycle if you have glass recycling in your area. Um, I mean, obviously recycling is great, but you can actually upcycle your bottles and use them for lots of different creations. And it's all you need to do is, and I'll do this every once in a while, I'll throw like 20 empty bottles into a huge bowl and uh, I'll let them soak with some baking soda. Uh, I'll put a couple drops of lemon, which helps remove some of the adhesive off the, um, any, any residue that was left from the label. Let them soak and then I let them air dry. Sometimes I'll put them out in the sun and once they're clean, then you know I put them to work in many ways. So I'm gonna share with you another uh, slide you're gonna wanna take a screenshot of because here I'm gonna give you some ideas of what you can use with your, do with your empties. But again, for today's purpose, the top tip I have for you is to portion out your most popular oils into your empties so you have them in more places. Um, so take a screenshot there, guys, if you'd like. Uh, and my face is covering a bit of this slide here, but again, this is a slide out of the Supernatural Guide. I just wanted to pop up for free for you. Um, now, promo codes. This is another one to take a screenshot of. So I want to just highlight a few local businesses that, uh, not local, small businesses, they, they all work online and they have wonderful creations for storing your oils. You'll see some of them uh, as I'm taking you around the house. One of my faves is a collaboration I've just done with a local company, Fallen Forest. So we have a new Whole Fit custom piece. It's this beautiful um, wood block with this bubblegum pink resin right in the middle of it. It holds six uh, 15 ml roller bottles, I'm sorry, 15 ml bottles, and then six roller bottles as well. So you can see the promo code there. You can hop over to Fallen Forest, they're on Etsy, 
and use promo code WholeFit to get 10% off. And then I have some other ones there uh, that I just wanted to, to offer up to you. You guys have probably seen me when I'm traveling. I've, I've used the Go Alignment um, travel case. It's gorgeous. Um, and they also have a promo code for you. You can get 15% off um, using code WholeFit. So anyway, grab a screenshot there if you guys want to do some shopping afterwards. Okay, so let's go through those four rooms. Um, and I'm just going to really like top level it so you can write down the oils. When I, when I go through the house, you'll probably learn a little bit more that way because it'll be interactive. Um, but health room by room, and again, the, the goal here is to have the right tools in the right place at the right time so that you're not struggling to make headway on, on those areas that you're looking for support in using your oils. So let's talk about the bathroom first. This is probably going to be the one place of your home where um, you'll, you'll have a lot more things to think of when it comes to using your oils. So in the bathroom, you want to be thinking of oils and products for obviously skincare, the bath and shower, dental health, and then quick cleaning. One thing I love to do, I'm going to share with you an all-purpose cleaning recipe. I love to have a cleaning, all-purpose cleaner in every um, bathroom of my home. So I'm, you know, it's just nice and quick. If there's spills on the counter or, or water splashes on the mirror, you can just clean it up real quick as you're using it. So um, the, before I go into oils uh, uh, that you'd want to of, swapping when you come into doTERRA is, is really simple because there's a lot of products you're already using like toothpaste, um, hand soap, mouthwash, right? The On Guard line is, is probably my favorite when I think about the lifestyle lines that doTERRA has because it's just so effective. So um, toothpaste, you can see there on the screen, the foaming hand wash, we have that at every sink in our house. Um, the mouthwash, it's just so easy to make these swaps and they're natural, they're effective. Once you have a doTERRA account, you can just order them at your, at your wholesale discount whenever you need them and they come right to your door. Um, when we talk about self-care, skin care, there we go. Oops, my slides were a little delayed. There we go. Uh, so you guys, if you were, if you joined me a couple of months ago, I can't remember which month, I think it was February, I did a whole class on glowing skin tips. And in that class, I, I gave you lots of great recipes to try. I'm not going into the recipes so much today, but I want you to think about having a little station in your bathroom that supports greater self-care, especially for the women and mothers listening. It's, it's a beautiful thing to come into your bathroom at the end of the day and just have a nice glass tray of, of the oils and products that are there to just dial up that self-care and that beautiful glowing skin. So um, maybe that's something you invest in is just to have a nice mirrored or glass tray, something that you can store your products on. I want to go through a couple of ideas with you, um, and as you're making notes, you can write down specific oils to be thinking of in the bathroom. So the first one is lavender. We love using lavender in the bath, right? In an Epsom salt bath, it just goes so nicely to, for a nice relaxing soak. So you can, you can create a nice soak recipe by adding a cup of Epsom salts, and then I recommend you take whatever oil you're using, if it's not lavender, if it's something else, and you add about five drops to your hand with a little bit of uh, fractionated coconut oil just to help it carry, and then run your hand under the water. Um, that's gonna just give a beautiful aroma in the bathroom, and that's a nice soak to do at the end of the day before bed. Uh, Slim and Sassy, which is doTERRA's metabolic blend. What I love to do with that one is I will either add a couple of drops to a dry skin brush and I'll dry skin, um, I'll brush my skin while it's dry, um, or I will dry brush my skin and then after I get out of the shower, I will add the metabolic blend to a squeeze of uh, doTERRA's lotion or another one that you love that's not fragranced. This is an incredible feeling. It, it's tingly. It's energizing i love the smell of it if you haven't tried that before um you'll want to keep a bottle of that for sure that actually you guys is a really beautiful feeling if you're cramping have a bath when you get out and your skin is still kind of warm use that metabolic blend in some lotion and massage it in especially to your stomach low back 
It's, it just feels incredible. Um, another tip is at your toilet, and I'm gonna show you when we get into my bathroom, I'll just show you a few other tips there, but one tip you can do is keep a bottle like Purify or peppermint or lemongrass or lemon eucalyptus. All of those are great for this. Keep it on your toilet, and then every once in a while, add a drop to the inside of the toilet paper roll, and then every time you use that roll, it'll disperse that aroma into the bathroom. Now, you can also use those same oils I just mentioned to just add a drop or two to the toilet basin, to the water, after use, because then that's gonna act almost like a diffuser in your bathroom, okay? So I actually keep a bottle of peppermint right there, right on the lid of the toilet, like on the, the back, on the lid, just to remind us, you know? And I'll show you our setup. Oh, coming back to lavender though, the reason I actually mentioned that is lavender can, a drop of lavender can be added to your mascara tubes to not only extend the life of the mascara, but it will also nourish your lashes. I recommend just one drop, it's all, it's all you need. You can put it in the tube. Um, also, I don't have an image of this up here, but peppermint is great in your lip glosses. So you could leave, you, peppermint's one of those bottles you'll probably have in every room of your house eventually, but in the bathroom, um, you can keep it in your bathroom to add to your lip gloss tubes. So just a, again, a drop is all you'll need there. Um, there's uh, that recipe I mentioned for the bath. You can do one to two cups Epsom salt, five drops of essential oil in a carrier. Um, I like to add baking soda because it alkalizes and it softens the skin. So if you have really dry skin, adding some baking soda to the water will um, really soften the water. Okay, moving on. One other tip for the bathroom, you guys. You'll see this when I tour. Keep a big glass jar of Epsom salts. And when you have empty bottles, you can just add them to that jar of Epsom salts and it'll get that last little bit out of the bottles before you clean them. So then it'll um, add the aroma to your Epsom salts so that when you're using them in the bath, they have that little bit of that aroma of those, of those empties, okay? So you can just dunk them right in. Okay, the next room really quick, I just wanted to mention, um, and when I turn it over to the phone and, and do the tour, I'll show you real quick. Um, my, my desk, uh, which is kind of a mess right now. But there are, you know, you want to think of having a little setup in your office or wherever you do your best work of oils for focus, oils for energy, and quick self-care. So some of my favorites to have at my desk are peppermint for obvious reasons. I keep a peppermint roller bottle, um, which I'll just actually show you real quick here. Um, peppermint is an energizer, right? It's really uplifting. What I like to do with this roller bottle, I've shared this on, on previous classes, but I will just apply a little bit to the temples. I'll go down the back of the neck. And then I apply a little bit to the top of my hand, press it to my lips, and lick it. And uh, that's a great way to experience peppermint all three ways, really. Um, but it's such a quick pick-me-up. So I love having that at my desk for sure. I also keep the kids line, the Tamer Blend, because this, you guys, have you tried this as a lip gloss? It, it's amazing. It's a little more diluted because it's part of the kids line, um, but this one has more of a spearmint base. It does have some peppermint in it, but um, I love it because it has liquid coconut oil in it, so it creates a little bit of a lubricant and it's, it's tingly and minty. Now, hey, when you're using roller bottles, here's a tip, put them, roll them on the top of your hand and then apply. Same thing if you're using them under your arms, because you don't want to contact the roller bottle with something that you don't want in the solution, okay? Um, Tamer blend, you guys. This is a new part of the kids line. It's meant for digestive ease and support, um, but I love it as lip gloss. The, so I also have Intune. This is actually doTERRA's Focus Blend. Um, oh, this one, it brings me back, you guys. It, it reminds me of my first year using doTERRA. Uh, but it does have patchouli in it. So um, if you're not a fan of patchouli, I I'd say still try it because it's it's a blend of, of many other things. I'll read it out to you here. Um, Indian sandalwood, patchouli, frankincense, ylang-ylang, Hawaiian sandalwood, and Roman chamomile. Oh, and lime. 
It's, I love it. I really do love it. But this is a great one when you're sitting down to do work. And then I also keep the adaptive roller. I actually have them in this little concrete roller bottle holder. This was from Share Oils a few years ago. I'm not sure if they still sell that. Some other products I keep on my desk, the Yarrow Palm Serum. Whenever I think of it, and again, if it's in front of you, you'll use it, right? So I keep this at my desk so that I can just moisturize the top of my hands, cuticles, um, lips, you name it. It's just, oh, it's such a gorgeous oil, you guys. That's the Yarrow Palm Serum. That's a newer product. Uh, what else? I have Aroma Touch. I have the 15 ml Aroma Touch that I added a little bit of coconut oil to, and then I put a roller top on. So these are linked in that Amazon shop because I love Aroma Touch for back of my neck, especially from doing some longer sessions at the computer. Um, and then I also keep metabolic gum. I love it. <laughs> so if I'm in like deep state flow, deep state <laughs> slip. Uh, if I'm in deep flow state, I will, I, I have to chew gum. It's just a personal thing. Like if I'm, if I'm really into a creative zone or production making something, um, I find that gum really helpful. Okay, in the kitchen, this is another place I absolutely love putting my oils to work. Um, so here you wanna be thinking of oils and products for water intake, um, cleaning, obviously, cooking, which I'm gonna share with you a link that you're gonna love, so get ready to write it down. And then micronutrients. So here I'm talking about the supplements. I'm going to share this is I'm going to share a few slides here with you guys. So the first one, let's talk about an all-purpose cleaner. I mentioned this when I was talking about the bathroom. This is something so simple you can make up and keep in every um, bathroom or main rooms of your home. Um, yes, I agree. Kitchen is my happy place. Me too. So here's a simple recipe, you guys. And actually, did I? Yes, let me share this slide with you because I know not all of you will have the On Guard Cleaning Concentrate yet. So I am gonna share one that uses vinegar, although personally I can't stand the smell of vinegar. I don't want my kitchen smelling like it. <laughs> so if you don't like the smell of vinegar, then you're gonna want to add the cleaning concentrate to your next order because it's a brilliant product, you guys. But when it comes to making all-purpose cleaners, here's what you do. And I have these amber glass ones, they're my favorite linked in that Amazon shop for you. What you do is you add two cups of water, two tablespoons of On Guard um, Concentrate, and then you could leave it as is, but I like to step it up a notch, and I will add 10 drops of On Guard and either 10 drops lemon or 10 drops peppermint. The peppermint On Guard combination is actually my personal favorite. I've been doing that for years. Uh, so take a screenshot. I recognize that my face is, is covering that a little bit, isn't it? There we go. Um, so that's the one with the concentrate. If you don't have the concentrate, then you're gonna use a cup of water, a cup of vinegar, <laughs> 10 drops On Guard, 10 drops lemon or, or peppermint, okay? So that bottle of On Guard concentrate, you guys, you can see a bunch of uses on the screen there, but it will, if all you wanna use it for is making all-purpose cleaners, it's going to make um, 10 to 12 all-purpose cleaners for you, which works out to like $2 a cleaner. It's pretty awesome. So I love that. And again, reducing toxic load, having these in the different rooms of your home to keep it happy, healthy, and clean um, is a key way to, to just lift that burden on the body, to not be using cleaners that are harming your body, but rather things that are more natural um, and integrate the oils. Another tip in the kitchen um, I love to use citrus oils for is cleaning produce. I've mentioned this in the past. So again, in your kitchen, you'll wanna keep a little rack of oils for these purposes I'm talking about. So lemon is an easy one to put to work here. What I like to do is I'll fill a big bowl with whatever fruits and veggies we're having for the day. Um, but before I add the produce to it, I'll add a pump of On Guard foaming soap, the hand soap, and then um, a couple of drops of lemon or tangerine or green mandarin or grapefruit. You could really use any citrus oil here. I add the water and mix that all together and then I toss in the produce and I let it soak for five minutes. And then I, I just give it a little rinse and it's good to go. I actually love using the green mandarin on fruit, apples, berries, because it gives a little bit of that, that green mandarin flavor. 
Okay, let's talk kitchen recipes. So this is going to be something you'll wanna start playing with if you haven't already. Um, honestly, oils just save you so much time and money in the long run because you won't be buying herbs that end up going bad after that one use, right? So I'd like to just invite you guys to hop over. This is another free resource I've created for you, wholefit.com forward slash cooking kit. And I'll have Jill pop it into the, the Facebook chat there. Um, there are, I, I've given you some recipes that I make at least once every couple weeks in there. They're my favorites, my go-tos. Um, but simple things like dressings, using lemon or celery seed or basil in your dressings and your marinades. Um, obviously, you've got your, your herb oils like you've got oregano, marjoram, thyme. So great to integrate. You're only ever using one, maybe two drops in, in a recipe. So when you, when you start investing in some of those herb oils, then you'll want to have them in your kitchen on a display because it'll remind you to be using them. Now, water uh, intake is, is an easy one. We've mentioned this already. So having your citrus oils in your kitchen, I actually recommend if you want to extend the life of your citrus oils, keep them in the fridge um, because they evaporate more than any other oil. So if, if you've ever had a bottle of wild orange, for example, you might have noticed that it lost volume over time, even though you maybe hadn't used it, um, just because citrus oils are more volatile. So keeping them in the fridge will extend their life a little bit longer. Okay, um, the other page I'll direct you to when it comes to micronutrients and supportive supplements that doTERRA has. What I like to do is I will keep my main daily supplements in a, in a case. I'll show you when, I, when we go down to the kitchen. Um, I'll show you like what I have organized there. But then I have a cupboard uh, where we keep all of the supplement bottles. So that's obviously another thing over time you can look at doing. And if you want to go to wholefit.com forward slash supplements, I have an easy to understand chart that uh, basically talks about all the supplements doTERRA has when you would take them, how many you would take, and any notes you might want to be thinking of. Let me check over here, we're good, okay. Okay, I wanted to pop in this ritual. If you're in my Beautiful Life Lab, uh, you know this. We, we talk about saying goodnight to your home as a key ritual. So I wanna go through what that could look like. And again, when you have your, your oils and products, in um in your kitchen then you're able to do this nice and quick and set up a, the next day for success so uh i like to do this ritual it takes maybe 20 minutes at the end of the day but i feel like it buys me back time the next day so tidying up the main floor making lunches when when the kids are in school uh cleaning up the kitchens and, and the kitchens cleaning up the kitchen and dishes so I don't know about you guys, but I feel like a million bucks when I come downstairs in the morning and my kitchen's clean. I, I, oof, I cannot come down to a sink full of dishes. That might be just me, but I, it actually, it really sets up our day for success. So uh, then at night, I'll run the diffuser with usually something simple like lemon or on guard. Then I'll add a drop of lemon to the dish cloths, dish towels, it helps extend the life. If you use sponges, that'd be smart to do as well. Um, another thing I love to do is I'll add a couple pumps of the On Guard soap to the sink with a drop or two of lemon and I'll just give it a little scrub and rinse it and it's just sparkling. I love doing that. Um, and then I also love to look over my day for tomorrow. Um, I'll power down electronics, Wi-Fi, and, um, and then write down anything that I wanna get out of my brain before bed. But that's my simple ritual at night. I thought it was, um, made sense to pop it in here as we're talking about the kitchen. And then if you guys are looking for immune support recipes, you'll likely keep a lot of your powerhouse oils like this in your you know, medicine cabinet, or um, which for a lot of people is down in their kitchen or perhaps in their bathroom. I just wanna remind you that in, uh, what month was it, March? I did an immune support class where I went into a lot of recipes. You could, you could go back and watch that class. You can find the recording in the classroom. Okay, almost done. Uh, laundry setup. So here you're thinking of oils and products for the washing machine, the dryer, and for ironing. And I'll show you our laundry room and that setup there. Um, but basically, 
I like to keep just a simple little tray of oils there next to the dryer balls, and I'll show you, you know, when you'd use certain things. But I love to keep lavender, geranium, um, purify blend. I also love uh, lemon eucalyptus. It just has a nice clean smell. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. You could use blends, although Serenity, Balance, Citrus Bliss, I, I find they, they don't carry as well on the dryer balls. So if you, I actually love geranium on in the dryer, um, but I'll, I'll share that when we get to that room. <laughs> the last room I wanted to talk about was the bedroom setup. So here you're thinking about oils and products for sleep and for making out, right? <laughs> so uh, just real quick, deeper sleep. You can take a screenshot there, you guys. This is going to be uh, where you'll wanna think of having a diffuser on your nightstand and some key oils for sleep like lavender, cedarwood, vetiver. Um, Serenity Blend on its own is beautiful in the diffuser. We just had three drops or so. Um, you might also want to have your, your more sleep supportive supplements in your bedroom like Serenity, Adaptive, and Copaiba. Keep them just on a little tray. Um, play around with that. I find for most people, Serenity is really effective. If you have your, if your brain's going and you just can't turn it off and you need to go to that lower gear, then you're going to want to try taking an adaptive before bed. And Copaiba, I, I describe Copaiba as a booster. So it's a good one to take if you just need that extra oomph because it, it works with so many, um, the endocannabinoid system that it works with is involved in so many processes in your body. Makeout session. What's up? Uh, here I want to go over some quick oils to maybe think of keeping on your nightstand. So that metabolic blend, you guys, or Slim and Sassy, as it's known. Uh, I want you to try this one. This might be for those times you're doing a little more than making out. What's up? <laughs> you're going to dilute two to three drops in some coconut oil, and you're going to massage it into your stomach. It's going to increase the blood flow. Bada boom, bada bing. You, you, you get the point. Um, it's a good one to play around with, and it gives that little bit of tingle. Neroli Touch for women um, is, a, is a great one. It's a roller bottle, right? So you can keep it on your nightstand. It actually helps with libido. It has a beautiful herbal floral aroma. Um, what else might you want to have? Um, in the diffuser, patchouli, sandalwood, great choices, clary sage. Um, keep some peppermint beadlets on your nightstand. That's fun. And then the Yarrow Palm Serum that, that I've talked about earlier that I have at the desk here, you'll wanna keep that on your nightstand. It's very lubricating, okay? All right, we're gonna wrap up. I just wanna go through real quick. I've talked about the Healthy by Design worksheet. So if you've downloaded the class package, you'll have this in there. So what I suggest is you take the information we've gone through, create a daily plan for yourself. Real simple, you can see on the screen there, I have um, a simple, you know, a couple things to do in the morning. Drinking 20 ounces of water with two drops of lemon. Taking your lifelong vitality and terrazyme. That's a simple morning routine. In the afternoon, drink more water with two drops of lemon. Go for a walk after lunch with some peppermint on your temples. And then at night, to support deeper sleep, diffuse three drops of lavender. Massage two drops of cedarwood or vetiver into your chest or feet and perhaps try taking a Serenity Soft Gel. This, what I have on the screen, you guys, would be like, if you, if you don't wanna to get too involved, just try something simple like this for a couple of weeks and notice how much your health shifts. Um, I do have my daily routine on the blog. If you go to wholefit.com forward slash blog, forward slash my daily routine, you can see exactly what I go through in a typical day. Um, I also wanted to share with you, several people on, in our Whole Fit community have shared their routines with you. So if you want to go to wholefit.com forward slash community routines, you can see some just other ways to put your oils to work beyond what we've talked about today. So let's close this up. For those of you that are wanting to get started with doTERRA, you can basically um, choose a pre-designed starter kit or I or whoever has been sharing doTERRA with you could create a, start, a custom kit for you. If you go to the pre-designed kit and I'm the one who's been sharing doTERRA with you and you wanna get started, you can go to wholefit.com forward slash oils. I have the simple steps there. Um, I also have the top starter, kit, starter collections highlighted there for you, or I can create a custom kit for you. wholefit.com forward slash custom kit. I can, you can tell me what your health goals are. 
and I can create a kit perfect for your needs. And we have a lot of value um, waiting for you. And these classes are one form of, of that, that I open up public, free, you know, anyone can join in. But we do have a variety of um, health programs and eBooks to support you in this journey. You can see up on the screen there. So um, would love to welcome you to this lifestyle. If you just still aren't convinced and you want to uh, experience the quality of doTERRA before you get started, I can create a sample package for you. So you can go to hopa.com forward slash sample request and um, fill in the form for me and I'll be in touch in a couple days. All right, so let's close this out with some questions. Um, what I'm gonna do is after I go through questions, Instagram, I might lose you um, in the next five minutes, depends how many questions we have. But, um, and Jill, what would make it easier for me if you could copy and paste some, any questions that were posted further up, but you guys, if you have questions right now before we hop out and then hop back in on Instagram, um, post them with a queue in front of them. I'll, I'll answer a few questions before we close out, but what I am gonna do is after we wrap up here, then I'm gonna open up a new live stream over on Instagram only, not on Facebook, because I'm gonna carry the phone around with me and do my best to show you just a couple of setups and I might expand on some of the things I, I've just shared in class with you. Um, I just thought it would be helpful, you know, to see just different setups beyond pictures. Uh, and I'll share with you maybe a few other oils that I didn't, didn't share in class. So if there are any questions, I'll wait just a moment because I know there's a delay. So I'm going to just scroll through Instagram. A difference between lemon oil versus lemon juice. So lemon juice obviously is very acidic um, and it's going to provide different benefits to the body. It's very alkalizing. Uh, vitamin C, right? You're not gonna get that in lemon essential oil, but the difference there, lemon essential oil is um, going to be easier on your enamel. Um, and it's also high in limonene. So limonene cleanses um, on a deeper level than lemon juice uh, because of the, the molecular size, because of the way that it interacts with the cells. So it's more of a deeper clean um, and limonene is something you'll want to look up. You can even go to PubMed and look up all the research on limonene and it's going to be high in really any citrus essential oil as long as it's pure. All right, uh, questions. You may have talked about this because I joined late. Can you explain how the citrus oils and UV rays are connected? Meaning the oil roller bottles say to avoid UV rays. Yeah, so citrus essential oils have something called, I think, I'm not sure how you say it, fucomerins, fucaromerins. <laughs> it's a really, it's a long word and I, it's, I think it's spelled F-U-C-E-R-O-M-A-R-I-N-S. Fucaromerins, that might be the right way. Uh, citrus essential oils have those and that's what makes them not safe in the sun. So sometimes like when doTERRA creates certain products or blends, they will actually go through a process to remove those so that it makes the product more sun safe. But that's, that's the reason. It, it actually is what's in the citrus oils that interacts with the sun in that way. Oh, someone asked, thinking back to my most recent pregnancy, does anything pop into your mind that you loved doing as a ritual? Do you want to know? I haven't had the experience of using doTERRA through a pregnancy because actually the reason that I started using doTERRA was because of my youngest Emerson she had eczema head to toe in her first year and that is how I got started in doTERRA so um, I actually don't have any personal experience to share that way but there are a lot of I would check out um, oh, what is her name Stephanie I can't think of her last name the essential midwife. You want to look her up. Furocomerans. Thank you, Patricia. She wrote that out. All right. I'm going to lose Instagram here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to close up. Uh, I'm going to shut this down here. Like I said, if, if, if we're ending here and, and you're not sticking around for the quick home tour, uh, I will upload this recording to YouTube and the audio to the podcast. And you can check out the calendar if you want to see when the next class will be. Um, and for those of you that do want to get started with essential oils, you can DM me or email me if you want. Um, 
and at hol-fit.com or just go to wholefit.com forward slash oils and I can help you get started there. But thanks for joining in live, you guys. I'll hop over to join us on Instagram if you would like to go through the home tour with us. Hi. Okay. So what I'm going to do is show you just around some areas of my home where I have oils set up and um, just, I don't know, hopefully you learn something. Maybe it's a little bit more fun uh, and easier to learn tips if you actually see it in action, right? So cool. A lot of you are saying you liked the tamer lip gloss tip. Uh, let me know, what did you learn in the last class? And I'm gonna flip this camera around. I did not um, super prepare for this. I mean, my house is clean-ish, you know, but it's gonna be a little bit messy in some areas. So here's the desk where we just streamed, right? There's the oils I talked about. There's that tamer you guys liked. I'm gonna carry a little tripod around with me and hopefully this helps, but we're gonna leave the office for right now. I'm gonna take you to the laundry room first. And I actually, I purposely have some laundry to do because I wanted to show you um, how we use it. I'm gonna do my best to do this <laughs> with one hand. <laughs> but as I go through, uh, I'm gonna show you the laundry room, I'm gonna show you my bathroom, um, and then we'll go down to the kitchen. So if you have questions on um, you know, oils pertaining to these rooms, then pop them in, just put them in capital letters for me, then I can see them really easy. So here is uh, my little setup, okay? So I have a, a bowl of dryer balls, which I'll show you in just a moment. Um, and then a little tray of oils. This is actually an oil holder from Fallen Forest, that local company I gave you the promo code for. So here I just have some oils that I'm, you know, using in the laundry room. So, uh, and then over here, I have a big um, glass mason of Epsom salts. I'll explain what I do with those in a moment. On guard laundry detergent, laundry spray, or linen spray, sorry. This is basically uh, a mix of witch hazel, water, and lavender. Um, I have that recipe in the Supernatural Guide or my green cleaning ebook. Here's that on, that on guard um, all-purpose cleaner that I shared with you in class. Uh, what else? I have a mattress powder, which is basically um, baking soda and a different uh, tea tree oil. Uh, again, I have that recipe in the green cleaning book. And then just a little caddy of things, uh, the, the cleaning concentrate, castile soap, a backup laundry detergent, witch hazel, um, and then a scrub for the tub. Now, uh, I used to make my own laundry detergent. A lot of you know that recipe. Um, I don't anymore, mostly just because of time, I guess, but... Um, that recipe you can find on the blog. If you go to wholefit.com forward slash blog forward slash DIY laundry, you'll uh, you'll see that recipe there. It's a great DIY. Uh, okay, so I do have a load of laundry I need to do. So I wanna show you what I do here. So th this is a big jar of basically um, Epsom salts. This is the softening salt recipe. I think I also have this recipe on that blog I just shared with you. But I take... Um, about one third of a cup. And this goes right in with the clothes. So I'm just gonna dump it in there. And then where you would normally, oh boy, I've gotta do this with one hand. <laughs> where you normally apply or put your detergent with, if you're using the On Guard detergent, it's um, very concentrated. So you're only using just about a teaspoon right in there, okay? And then you start that up. Whoops, hold on, there we go. Now, I also wanna show you the dryer. So these clothes in the dryer have already gone through a cycle. My dryer works perfectly for what I'm about to share with you because it does not perfectly dry all the clothes <laughs> in the first round, probably because I put too many in there. But 
Um, what I actually love about this is it, the, the clothes are like 90% dry when this cycle finishes, which is the perfect time to put dryer balls in. Okay. So when like right now, they're a little bit, little bit damp right now. So what you do is you add a couple of drops of lavender. I like to use two dryer balls and you just toss them right in. And then I do just a quick time dry of about 20 minutes. Now the reason you don't wanna be adding dryer balls the whole cycle is because the aromatics that you're adding to the dryer ball actually won't um, end up giving enough aromatics to the clothes. So adding it in this last part is really smart because it's gonna smell beautiful. I also like using geranium if you haven't tried that yet. Since you probably can't hear me, I'm gonna just flip this around for a second, close the door. Let me just read through your questions before I go to the bathroom. Uh, do I have a favorite oil to help get rid of stinky, musky, old workout clothes smell? Purify or lemon eucalyptus is going to be your best bet. Um, what you might wanna do is soak them in a big bucket of hot water, add a little bit of on guard cleaning concentrate and probably about five drops of either one of those, purify or lemon eucalyptus and let it soak. Um, the, the key thing with, <laughs> the reason that happens is because they sat for too long, right? So that can work, although it can be a pretty tricky smell to get out. Lemon grass in the dryer, yep, great. When will the on guard products be restocked? If they're out right now, it's because of COVID. They the on guard line got really tapped inventory wise, obviously, because it's it's a it's an amazing line. But they're they're restocking everything like very quickly. Um, it's just that it's selling out as they're as they're restocked. So um, cleaning up the sink. Oh, cool. Uh, all right, I don't see any other questions for laundry. What do you do with the witch hazel in the laundry room? That's for remaking the linen spray. So um, what I like to do, do you guys see? Um, so I've got my, my ironing board there, but um, I like using these steam cleaners so if you actually apply the linen spray to it before ironing or using a steam cleaner, it works really well. Witch hazel acts um, as a preservative of sorts uh, when you add it to creations that have water in them. Um, let me flip this around. So this was another, hi, this was another uh, custom made holder from Fallen Forest. Pretty cool, hey? So this is in our bedroom, and there you see diffuser, glass, a pitcher of water for refilling. Uh, but I keep most most of the oils here. I don't have um, like kitchen oils, herb oils, or citrus oils up here, but more of more of the heavies. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Uh, Carol, did you say one teaspoon of on guard detergent in the washing machine? Yes, exactly. Um, and then I do recommend that you add that scoop like one quarter a third even a half cup of those softener salts right inside um if you have a larger load but it it, it just helps it softens the laundry a little bit but it also gives it a little bit of an aromatic boost um and like i said i think i have that recipe on the blog with the diy laundry um, but it's also my green cleaning ebook and the supernatural recipe guide okay so yeah here's Diffuser, water pitcher. Let's go on to the bathroom. There's the tub. <laughs> you guys have seen lots of um, Instagram stories from that tub. Well, not, not from in the tub, you know what I mean. Okay, uh, so what do I wanna show you here? So I have a tray. This was actually a pretty cheap tray that I purchased. Uh, um, at home goods or winners or something. And um, I like it because it holds not just 15 ml size, it's a little bit bigger so it can hold 
just, you know, organize what I'm using pretty much every day. Um, so let me just touch on a few things and why. DDR Prime, this is this is actually how the bottle used to look. It's it's now in a 15 ml, but it used to be in a 30 ml. I take a drop of this on my tongue every morning. It is a cell powerhouse supportive blend. Um, it's kind of strong, but I personally love love the taste of it. And um, it kind of it kind of tastes I don't know a little bit like a mouthwash because it does have clove in it. Um, what else? Virage is my go to skincare system. Let me know. Do you guys use that? It's it's beautiful. I've been using it for over five years. That's the toner. I'm all. I just ran out of the serum actually, um, but there's the moisturizer toner. Uh, got the cleanser in here. Um, and then roller bottles that I tend to use most days. Uh, let me just see. Immortel for sure. I put that um, under my eyes. I'll put it on my um, cuticles. Uh, rose, I will alternate with Immortel for those same reasons. I love rose under my eyes. Rose is just a gorgeous oil to, to have. It's a little pricier, the queen of oils, right? Uh, serenity for sleep, sometimes balance. I'll just, I, I just like having my, the ones I more reach for right there, because again, if they're there, then you're going to use them. Um, every morning I'll put some peppermint on my temples. Um, what else? This was a, a blend I created when I had my explant surgery. Uh, it basically has, oh, let me try to remember, um, argon oil, castor oil as the base. And then I put equal drops, 10 drops each. Blue tansy, geranium, copaiba, frankincense, um, lavender, and sandalwood. And I rolled that on my scars morning and night. Uh, yarrow palm we love, right? I, so I actually, I have this here for dropping uh, under the tongue because it, it's great for hormonal support. But I also have the, the bottle that it originally came in. I don't know if any of you have this um, that I keep. You could also portion it out and put it um, into a smaller bottle if you'd like. This, this is a 15 ml, but it comes with a dropper. So personally, I, hold on. Now I'm, see, I'm running into this issue. Uh, so I have a dropper on this because I like to roll it right on my skin. Uh, what else? Okay, so I want to explain the oils I have here and why. So I've just mentioned the Yara Palm. I will roll that um, on my skin every night. I love it. Um, lemon I keep in my bathroom for a couple of reasons. I, I first of all, will sometimes just add a couple drops to the sink or a way to kind of supercharged cleaning. But I also, all of our water in our home is filtered. We have a whole home filter by Aquasana. And so every morning I'll, I'll come in to my bathroom when I'm doing just my morning self-care and I will fill a big bottle. I'll add a couple drops of lemon just from the tap. Geranium, I just love it. I really do. Not all the time. I crave it certain times of the month, if you know what I mean, but it's, it's a great oil to add. Um, I'll often add just a drop to my hair just to give it that nice femme floral aromatic. Uh, it's beautiful. I'll, sometimes I'll add a drop to the top of the deodorant stick. Um, this is a good tip. Either lavender or geranium to the top of the deodorant stick super charges it and it gives it a little bit more of a boost aromatically. Uh, frankincense, I do a drop under my tongue every night. So I do DDR prime in the morning, frankincense at night. I wanted to try it actually. It's, it's a pretty powerful experience. Frankincense I find is a very connective oil to truth and to, um, the father figure. Okay. There's that metabolic blend I've mentioned in class. So Again, I leave it right here front and center because I love adding it to, sometimes I'll mix it in with the RO Palm and apply to my stomach. Um, other times I will mix it in with the doTERRA lotion. Um, I also will sometimes add that one to my water. Um, rose, I keep here every so often. I will treat myself by adding one drop to my Epsom salt bath and it is so luxe. You would do this when you have time to soak 
for a little bit longer because my goodness, at, at what is it? Five, six, seven dollars a drop. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, and then I have blue tansy here for skin. So I actually, here's a tip for you. Um, when you need more hydration, I keep this jar because I don't use it every night, but I will add uh, a couple drops of blue tansy right into the jar. And then blue tansy is very nourishing on your skin. So if you are, if you have really dry skin, um, even skin issues like eczema, uh, it's going to be your, a real go-to for you. Um, and then on guard, I keep in the bathroom. Uh, if, you know, if we have a sore throat, you want to gargle with it, um, or for oil pulling, you can add it to some, um, coconut oil and do oil pulling with it. But what I also love to do with it is I will soak the tongue scraper and toothbrush, any other dental tools in a cup like that with a pump of on guard soap and a couple of drops of the on guard blend. And I'll let it soak once a week. Uh, just a nice way to keep them a little cleaner than they would normally be. Um, I keep on guard spray up here for cleaning. I'm going to make sure I don't have anything suspect in here. <laughs> um, but when I use the roller, the micro roller, um, I will clean it first before rolling it into my skin. Okay. And I'll clean it with, with that spray. Um, and feel free to ask questions as I go. But I also wanted to mention, so this is a glass foaming hand soap. Um, I just, I prefer it to the, the plastic on guard one that, that comes with the doTERRA ones. You can purchase that in the Amazon shop. I have that linked up. Um, but this, this is actually the, uh, this is the foaming soap they released at Christmas time. That's why it's kind of, it's more clear than the typical on guard soap. See, I need to clean, but we won't look at that. Um, and then this little, this little boy here. This, this bowl I use for um, like an aromatic dressing. I don't do it every single day, but I will add uh, some argon or jojoba or even fractionated coconut oil to this bowl and I'll mix in whatever oils I'm feeling and then massage that into, into my skin. Just working legs up. It's beautiful to do after dry skin brushing. Um, and then this is a, a gua sha. Have you guys used this before? You... Um, you basically can use it to work in your oils, your face oils, and it helps to move the lymph. It's actually really nice to keep in the fridge even um, in the summer. I keep that there. Um, okay, dry skin brushes for the bath, really important. Uh, oh look, the toilet is closed, that's really helpful. <laughs> so who knows what's in there? But uh, I did wanna show you one tip. So I mentioned the toilet paper roll. Keeping an oil such as peppermint or lemongrass or purify, even lemon eucalyptus would be great there. You can add it right into the cardboard holder. Um, but I also, hold on, not totally clean. So we're not gonna show that. But I wanted to show you, um, I, I will often just take a couple of, um, of the foaming hand soap there, squeeze it into the toilet and with a couple pumps and then I'll add um, a couple drops of the peppermint and we'll give the toilet a scrub. Um, or you can just add a couple drops whenever you'd like to, you know, make the bathroom smell pretty. There you see those toilet pods. So you just, that's a recipe in the green cleaning book or the supernatural guide. Um, actually, you can find a recipe on doTERRA's blog. If you guys just search doTERRA toilet bombs or pucks, or I can't remember what it is. Um, but those you would add when you want to do a deep clean of the toilet, which I need to do. And I'm not going to expose you to that. <laughs> All right. And here's Chris's area here. Um, here's the Epsom salts I wanted to show you. So this is a big glass Epsom uh, container. I, I think I got this at Home Goods um, or Home Sense in Canada. Uh, but it's a nice glass one with a cork lid. And I just keep it full of Epsom salts. And then when I have empties, so you can see here, I've got a couple of empties in there right now. Just getting the, and it smells great. I wish you could smell through the screen. Um, but that's, that, that's what I would use in the bath. Just take a couple scoops of that right into the water. And then this is baking soda. I don't think there's anything I wanted to really show you here. Um, let me just see if you guys had any questions. Oh, Jill says Ikea has... 
that one there. I know that's where I got this. If you guys are looking for nice water pitchers for the diffuser, that's from Ikea. I didn't know that, maybe that is where I got it. Who knows? Okay, let me scroll up. <laughs> uh, I'm not cleaning my toilet live, no. <laughs> uh, do you dilute this soap? No, you don't. So ideally, so it's, it's going to be more diluted because you're using it in a foamer, okay? So no, you wanna just pour it straight in. I know some people do dilute it with water, but it's not meant to be. Yeah, my drawers look just like yours. <laughs> um, uh, let me see, blue tansy, yes, give it a go. You'll love it. Oh, I know what I wanted to show you. Um, oh, some people ask me about this tray. You guys, I have a, a blog post about the bath. If you go to wholefit.com forward slash blog forward slash bath, I have this bamboo tray linked up there. You can get it on Amazon. It's by Umbra. Um, but yeah, I have some recipes for, for using the salts. But what I did want to show you, let me see how clean this is. <laughs> Hello. Uh, okay, we're in my shower right now. I did want to show you a couple of oils to think of for hair. So you may have heard me mention this one before. Um, if you're blonde, keep citronella and blue tansy in your shower because, and they kind of serve different purposes. Citronella is going to brighten your blonde hair. It's also very cleansing, I find. So it, it almost supercharges your shampoo if you're looking for more cleansing. Um, but you would just add a drop right to your, your shampoo in your hand. And then um, blue tansy is a toner because it's actually blue. I can't open it with my one hand, so I can't show you, but it's very blue naturally. So you can add a drop to your hand with shampoo and um, it'll tone your blonde. You could leave it in as a mask as well. Yeah. Hey, Char. Um, it totally works. It's amazing. And then I have Ravensera in here, which you cannot purchase. This was a free oil people who order monthly received a couple months ago, um, but it has a very similar aroma to eucalyptus. So I keep it in the shower because what I'll do is I'll just add a couple of drops to the the shower floor and it just fills the steam room uh, the steam in the shower beautifully you could use obviously straight up eucalyptus or breathe blend or easy air as it's called in canada um have you guys seen this guy the shower diffuser i actually got this at winners in canada but um you can find them in a lot of places now i have lavender and peppermint hooked up there and you just press the button and it actually shoots steam out into the air so that's that let me see what questions you guys have. Abby says she uses citronella, one drop of shampoo and one drop of the conditioner. It smooths her grays. Cool. I'm there too. Hi. <laughs> um, cardamom. Yeah, that would work in the shower. I'm assuming that's what you're mentioning. Yeah, no, well, you've got to try it. it. It actually works really well. Now, I have a lot of gold, naturally. Like this, my hair, um, I'm actually going to tint it in a couple of days with a little more gold. But um, I, I do highlights, so I don't, I don't, I never go direct to the scalp, but and I only highlight a little bit of my hair. But I will once a week. Um, I only wash my hair once a week. I will add the blue tansy to it and it just, it helps to remove a little bit of the goldy yellow. Oh, the reveal system um, I had in the shower there. That is great for just micro exfoliating. It's, it's two products. You, should, you guys should try it. It's, it works really well. It's not an abrasive exfoliator. Um, but it uses, it, it's very micro, and then it uses a, an activating gel after. So it just really, it, I do that once a week. I also do the, you guys saw it in the bath there, the detox mask, I'll use that once a week. Sorry, I have no tips for brunettes because I have no experience there, but if, if you are a brunette and you use certain oils, um, I would say, like you might be interested in hair growth, strong hair growth. So you would be looking at cedarwood, 
rosemary, frankincense. You could, you could add any of those to your shampoo. You could even create a spray. Yes, I always add oils to body moisturizer and that's what I love. Um, I don't know if I have it in here right now because we were using it with the girls last night. I don't. Um, the doTERRA fragrance-free lotion. Um, you can actually add oils to it, right, to the tube, but what I prefer to do is I'll just add it to my hand and mix in whatever oils. Whoops. Uh, okay, are we ready to move down to the kitchen? That'll be the last stop. Just looking through the rest of the questions. Oh yeah, hey, Christine, she said, uh, someone was asking what that scraper thing was. It's a tongue scraper. Um, so I do that every morning, first thing before I brush teeth, before I drink water. Once you do it, you'll never go back to not doing it, trust me. I'm gonna try not to fall. Okay, so I just wanted to show you, let me flip this around. The kitchen's not like super clean right now. Um, one idea we love here is a little bowl of the Breathe and On Guard uh, throat drops. So we have those there just to encourage, you know, health. <laughs> um, over at the computer here, I do have a little stand. Oh, this is the new Whole Fit one, you guys. You can see the, the brand on it there. That's what it looks like there. Um, but I do keep a, a stand of, of kind of our most used oils that you just want to have on the main floor there. There's the kids' probiotic sticks there. Let me just, let me clean my house while you're here with me. Um, okay, we're having a little party here tonight, so we've got stuff laid out, ready to go there. But here's what I wanted to show you here. So I keep a tray of different citrus, um, got a few mints, right here in the kitchen. So this is what I like to keep. I don't remember where I got this tray, you guys, but um, you know, you can find these things in a lot of places now, probably even on Amazon, to be honest. So I keep lemon uh, for many reasons. I've mentioned already adding it to drinking water, um, cleaning with it. One tip I love to do, and I think I shared this in the good night home tip, and I wanna show you live right now. Um, so all I do at night, you guys, is, I will press a couple pumps of the On Guard soap, real fancy like that. And then I will add, I'm just showing you everything right now, like all the dirties. I'll add a couple drops of lemon to the sink and then I'll scrub, I'll run a little bit of water and I'll scrub every night. And it polishes it really nice. If you guys can see it just looks really pretty at the end of the day if a sink could look pretty this is how it looks pretty um and it smells nice and fresh so the, so lemon is is such a multi-use product i also uh here's our dishwasher ready to go i will also add a couple of drops of lemon inside right on the door um, before i run it and it'll help your your dishes sparkle more and just keep it smelling a little more fresh. Um, celery seed I will often use in juice recipes or salad dressings. Um, lemongrass, I will add a drop to the bottom of garbage cans. There's a little tip there. I'm not even sure why I have bergamot here. <laughs> Probably to help with the ombre effect going on here. Lemon eucalyptus is another one I like to use in garbage cans. Um, it smells kind of similar to lemongrass, um, but you can, also use lemongrass in cooking. You could make lemongrass coconut rice. Um, again, a lot of these lend themselves to kitchen recipes. Spearmint and blue, uh, spearmint and peppermint. I almost said blueprint. <laughs> oh my gosh, my brain's fried. Spearmint and peppermint, I will add, oh my goodness, lots of uses. Um, you can add them to water. You can add them to teas. You can add them to baking, to coffee. Um, I love to diffuse with them, which is also why I have them here. Wild orange, mixing with the mints for diffusing. There's um, that metabolic blend again for adding to, to water and then On Guard. So those are, those are those top oils I keep right here in the kitchen. Um, this is a little diffuser I pulled out this morning that I bought a few years ago from 
a company called Living, uh, Living Libations. And it's actually in, hold on, my hand's soaking wet. Um, it's a, it doesn't use water. It's a waterless diffuser. You can get these in a lot of different places, but I like having this in the kitchen because you simply add the oils right into it. Um, so if I was to keep any of the other diffusers down here, I like the Lumo or the new Volo. Those are great. Um, what else, you guys? Let me flip this around for a second. Let's see. Um, hold on. So when I'm soaking produce, this is this was from our soak this morning. Um, but there's uh, that big bowl I just keep right here in the sink. I'll add a couple of pumps of the On Guard foaming soap, a couple of drops of a citrus oil, mix the water and add the produce in, let it soak, and then I strain it. So again, uh, what you're picking up here is the importance of having things right where you're going to be using them so that you remember to use them. Um, just thinking as I go before we end, if there's anything else I wanted to show you. Uh, I do have, I do have this rack of oils, which we put on a wall on this wall purposely so it wouldn't be hit by the sun. But this is where I store a lot of our oils for cooking: <clears throat> turmeric, marjoram, thyme, oregano, clove, basil, cilantro, cassia. You know, it just wouldn't make sense to have a lot of these oils anywhere else in the house. But then. Um, we have a little health station you guys would have seen when I did that home tour. Um, when was that? A couple years ago. And um, I just like having the oils there for quick grab to add into smoothies, coffees, um, when I'm making up salads, things like that. So, yeah. Let me guys have questions about it. I'll just flip through the Q&A. So what I'll do is I'll patch this together with the part one of today's class, um, and then I'll upload it to YouTube so you have it all in one. Can you use a drop of On Guard concentrate with water to clean the produce? I would not recommend that um, because it's much more concentrated. So a lot of people don't even use something like the On Guard soap when they're cleaning. The reason that I do that is because it helps everything disperse, um, especially if you're dealing with dirtier produce like celery or different lettuces, you'll, you'll usually need something like that to lift and hey i'm not saying dirt's bad for you <laughs> it's actually pretty good for you uh, but you want to make sure you know where that dirt was so if you don't if you're not buying organic especially it's really important to soak your produce but i i honestly think um it just makes so much sense to clean your produce when you're bringing it into your home if you're not growing it yourself now goals grow your own food right but Cleaning your produce is a really smart thing to do. All right, I'm gonna keep scrolling up. What were the results from my neck oil experiment? <laughs> oh man, I mean, guys, I don't know. I, I haven't been, I didn't do like any kind of before and after, but it's looking pretty good. I, I put Immortel um, on my neck every night and I learned to massage up, um, but you know, I'm 40. I think over time I'm going to find that my neck tells my age a little more than my face, but I'm not going to do anything about that. I will not be toxing the bow or doing the, the surgeries. No, I just, I'm just letting it roll. But I'm not averse at all to using Immortel and Yarrow Palm and Frankincense and Rose. I use them twice a day because they, I mean, they're just brilliant, brilliant oils. And blends oh Christine asked where my where the backsplash tiles were from it was from a local place here in London I don't know you know they, they, they say here's a few spots you can go shop and um, I saw them like that reminds me of a mermaid I'm in <laughs> yes peppermint for flies peppermint for ants peppermint for most bugs will work you can create a little spray we had an ant problem when we got home from Florida. And so we created um, a spray, but also just on cotton pads around the window where they're coming in. Yes, that was a nebulizing diffuser. Um, 
Christine is hooking everyone up today. Yes, my bulletproof coffee recipe. Um, I have, I can't remember the exact link, but if you look up Whole Fit Supercharged Coffee, you'll see the recipe there. And I love using oils. Mm. Yeah, lemon eucalyptus is potent and it does smell like super concentrated pledge, only it isn't. It's actually from nature. So it's great for using, um, like even if you if you grew up loving pine salt, um, there, so purify lemon eucalyptus. Yeah, those would probably be your two go-tos if you like that really fresh smell um, in your cleaning. And you're working with plant. It's the best. You don't have to use all these funky ingredients. Uh, lemon oil on the inside of the washer door. And then, you know, I pop a, a cleaner dishwashing tab in there. How did I get the label in the glass bottle of soap? That, that, let me scroll it back. This guy here was an older, so a couple years ago, the labels were removable. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if doTERRA would sell those, but you can't, um, they don't do that anymore. It comes fixed to the, um, to the plastic, so you can't take it off. Okay. How do I keep my, my hair clean for an entire week? Dry shampoo, make your own with um, arrowroot or cornstarch powder. I like to mix in um, lavender, rosemary, cedarwood, various oils. You just brush it right into the roots. The key thing with dry shampoo powder though, don't use it when you need it, use it before you need it because then it keeps everything easy and dry. If your hair gets greasy, dry shampoo doesn't work. Okay, I think I, think I made it through the questions. Uh, any oils to guard against EMF? No, no. Um, the best thing to do there is turn your Wi-Fi off at night. You can, you can look into, I actually linked up some things on that blog post I did. What do we have here? Um, at the very bottom, 5G is something I'm still trying to wrap my head around. It's moving fast. Um, but having said that, when you think about protecting your cells, the integrity of your cells, you're, you're thinking of DDR prime. That's going to be, I would say of all of them, I mean, you could do frankincense alone, but DDR prime, maybe you want to try doing that drop under the tongue. Maybe you do it morning and night. You, you could also get DDR prime as a capsule. So doTERRA has it where the oils are in a capsule for you already and um, take one to two a day, protect those cells. Cause that's going to be the concern with 5g. Um, it depletes oxygen and it's going to, it's going to cause, cause cells to go rogue. So you want to be, you know, again, this is where that conversation about the tipping point is. And honestly, you guys, there are so many people who will tell you there's nothing to worry about. Uh, okay. I think, I think what you need to be looking at here is, um, if there was something to worry about, what would it be? And you want to be thinking about the impact of, these frequencies on your body all day long, unavoidable, uh, and, and how you can just give your body more support. And anything that has to do with supporting health is going to help in this area. Drinking more water, getting deeper sleep, eating higher quality foods. It's always about the tipping point. Something I am quite often talking about, especially in these classes, is you're, you're looking to reduce your exposure to things that you can control so that your body has a better shot with the things that you can't control. And 5G is going to be one of those things you cannot really control. Um, even if you're doing a lot in your own home, you're going to be exposed to it regardless. So I think we will wrap for today. Thank you for joining live and I will upload this. Like I said, I'll mesh it with part one. This was the topic this month was health room by room. Uh, I hope you learned something new. And this is an ideal class for those of you that have oils and have not put them to work. Um, because it's so tempting to, to purchase something thinking that's all you need to do is purchase it. But there does come a point where you have to put it into work, where you have to integrate 
And if you don't have them in front of you, you will forget about them. So I hope you found this helpful. I hope you find a new way to put your oils to work. This lifestyle rocks. You there, there is just in so many areas, in so many ways, you're supported. And um, over, it only takes a couple of weeks, to be honest, of using oils in a new way before it becomes installed as a habit and you don't need to think about it anymore, but um, you're still gonna wanna have them right in front of you. So hope you enjoyed today. You guys go back and watch the first uh, part of this class. You can grab promo codes for some of my favorite uh, small businesses that create holders. Um, and yeah, if I can help you get started with oils, then you let me know. It's one of my favorite things to do to help a home take the upgrade in this way. So I would love to help you in doing that. Mwah. Hey, you made it to the end. <laughs> if you're not sick of me yet and you want to find other episodes and show notes, you can go to wholefit.com forward slash podcast. If you do love the show, I would be so grateful if you take a moment to share it out with your community and leave a review over on iTunes so that more people can find the show. Until next time.